and welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute. I have been so busy. I got a puppy who I have to watch constantly because he's crazy. And so I've been running around doing that and I started work back. So I've been really busy and I really slacked on reading in August. I was going to do an August wrap up video and I only read four books. So then I was like, I'll just wait until September. So I am back and today we're going to do a fall TBR. I am hoping to read a lot of spooky books and I know I can't do it all in October. So this is for September and October. The thing is, all the books I'm going to talk about today fit in my like spooky vibes, but I also have a couple books that will probably end up getting read before some of these purely because even though they don't like fit what I'm trying to go for for these two months um, but because like I really need to so like Dune really want to finish it before the movie comes out so I do plan on probably reading that next and then starting into this little stack of books I have and I also really want to read Hawthorne Legacy which comes out in a couple days and I thought I had pre-ordered it apparently I didn't so I've got to go to Barnes & Noble and get that so I'll probably also read that very soon but other than that and also oh, I just remembered again um, is Good Girls Got to Murder the third one comes out this month as well so I have some books that don't fit into this list that I'm gonna read as well but I'm hoping I can accomplish this list I have a couple that like if I don't get to them that's fine they're not high up on my priorities but I did put together a list of things that like I really 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 want to make sure I read. I'm currently reading Atlas 6 so I think I'm gonna finish that pretty quickly and then I'll be able to like get the ball rolling on all of these. So let's just get started and I'll show you the books I want to read. I have a couple that I'd like to read that I don't own and I'll mention those at the end of the video but for the most part I'm gonna try to stick with what I already own. So the first book is Verity by Colleen Hoover. I read my first Colleen Hoover book last month. It was in Ends With Us, five stars, loved it. And I went in hoping to buy November 9th. They were sold out. So I picked up Verity and I know it's supposed to be creepy. So I hope it'll fit the vibes of this month. Basically, this um, writer has gotten where she can't finish her books and so our main character is invited to come finish all of her books for her and in the process she finds these things or like a diary or writings about her um the author's life and finds some really crazy things out and i think she also starts to fall in love with the author's husband not positive um and then she like is debating whether or not to tell him about the things that have happened that she read that the author read about their life i'm not sure i just know it's supposed to be creepy and it's colleen hoover so it's on my list and i hope it lives up to the hype because it's been all over book talk the next two books i'm not going to explain what they're about because they're classics um but the first one is dracula everyone knows about dracula vampires I've had this on my bookshelf for a while. I liked Frankenstein. I um, mean, I feel like they always put Frankenstein and Dracula together. And so hopefully I'll get to it. But this is on bottom priority. If I don't get to it, no big deal. But I feel like it's perfect for October and like September spooky season. So I'm really hoping I can get to that. But if not, no big deal. And the other classic is Jane Eyre. Um, also, I think it's supposed to be kind of eerie. Have no clue. Um, but it's been on my shelf for a while as well and I want to read it and so I thought maybe this will be the season for that. But again, if it doesn't happen, I won't be upset. If you want to know what they're about, you can go on Goodreads. I just am not trying to spend a lot of time on these books. Okay, the next book I am so excited about, it's Imaginary Friend. It's written by the same guy that wrote Perks of Being a Wallflower and I heard that it gave people nightmares. Basically, this kid and his mother have run away um, because his mother was in an abusive relationship and she's trying to get them away and they move to this town and the boy goes missing. And when the boy comes back, he's different. And that's all I know. Um, it's supposed to be really creepy. My friend uh, read the ending for me and said that it seems crazy. So it's also huge. But also when I was in, I keep saying also, when I was in Barnes & Noble with my friend, uh, she got this book and it was not this thick. 
I don't know. But I'm really excited and I'm hoping it's good and I'm hoping it terrifies me. Like I hope that I have nightmares. Not really, but like hoping it does something for me. So the next books I have is actually a trilogy. And it's a trilogy that I read, I can't remember if it was middle school or high school. Um, and I was obsessed with it then. And so I saw it on Bookstagram. I saw someone post a picture of it and I was like, you've just unlocked this little filing cabinet um, in my brain and found a very, very far away small file um, that contains this image. And after that, all I could think about was the books. So I bought all three of them a while ago. They've been sitting on my shelves been putting it off because I'm like technically I've already read these don't remember anything that happens but I distinctly remember the covers and being obsessed so I rebought them and they are paranormal so I'm hoping to read them and that is the summoning series so it's the summoning the awakening and the reckoning um all I know about this is we have a main character named Chloe and she sees dead people and I can't remember anything else that's all I know. Um, so I'm very excited. I think she has a love interest in this from like the deep uh, parts of my brain that think about this book, but I'm not positive. So paranormal, potentially has romance. She sees ghosts. Perfect for spooky season. So I'm hoping to relive my childhood love for these books. I'm really just hoping they give me a nostalgic feeling. Well, that's the main reason I bought them. So I'm pretty excited and I'm hoping I can read them. They don't seem to be too long. Um, and the words are pretty big, so I think I'll be able to do it. So, this series, I'm hoping it happens for me. Okay, I'll save the biggest task for last. Um, but the last two books that I'm hoping to read are Stephen King books. And the first one is The Shining. I love the movie. I know Stephen King hates the movie. And I've never read the book. Me and my friend, my friend has had Dr. Sleep for a while. I still have not seen the movie Dr. Sleep. But we both bought The Shining and said, hey, we'll read The Shining and then read Dr. Sleep together. So if I finish this, I will be reading Dr. Sleep as well. Don't own it. But I was like, I'm not going to buy it until I actually read this book. Obviously, you know what this is. He gets offered a job at the Overlook Hotel. And they all, well, not they all, but he goes crazy. And his son has The Shining. And I don't know how different it is, movie and book. Everyone knows the red rum scene and... All work, no play makes Jack a dull boy. So I'm really hoping that the book is good. I'm sure it will be. Stephen King hates the movie, and so, like, this must be better. But I'm really excited. This will be technically the first Stephen King book I have ever read. And I'll tell you why, technically, in a second. Okay, so the book that if I don't read any of these other books, oh well. Because I have to read this book in this fall. Probably going to... October. It's a big one. Anybody want to guess what it is before I show you? It is It by Stephen King. I have had this book for years. And when I say technically it's the first Stephen King book I've read, technically because I've read the first, um, oh look here's where I'm stopped at. I'm on page 67. I've read the first 67 pages. I've also read the first chapter multiple times. I tried to read this fresh or sophomore year of college. That was a minute ago. So I'm like determined. She's a thick one. She's huge. But I'm determined to read it this year. I love the miniseries. I love the new movies. And I just feel like I need to do justice and read the book. And this thing is heavy. Um, so obviously, this goes back and forth between past and present with following this group of kids as they're kids and adults dealing with Pennywise the Clown um, in Derry. Uh, the first part of it, I think, like I enjoyed it, but it's always something I'm like, oh, there's like over a thousand pages. I can't do it. So I always quit. So this is going to be the year because like if I don't do it, then I'm canceling myself on Bookstagram and Booktube because I you just can't do it. And I've posted this picture like on my normal Instagram probably more than once and I haven't read it. So this is the year. This is the year I'm going to read it. And if I don't, everyone can get mad at me because I'll be mad at me. So I'm going to prioritize this one above the rest. But I think it's going to take me a hot minute. I read very quickly. I can average 12 books a month if I really try. Um, 
So this may make up for all 12 in one book. So it may take me a whole month. My friend also owns this exact copy of this book, the one that wants to read The Shining. We both are going to try to read this book soon and together. He reads way slower than me, so he probably will not finish it by the time I finish it. But I need the motivation because if I don't do it now, I feel like I never will. And I, it's just something I really want to read. So I'm going to try it. So those are all of the physical books I have. Um, if for some reason I get through these, <laughs> I also would really like to read Misery by Stephen King. I'm very interested in that. I've never seen the movie, but it interests me. So I would love to pick that one up. Um, and then I also have a couple of books, like, I would like to read The Ravens. It's on my TBR cart right now, and I feel like it could fit into the vibe of this with witches if I, um, need some more room or things to fill my space but probably not gonna happen also if for some reason I read all of these books I would really like to pick back up with the Raven boys I read the first book and I have the dream thieves I've started it a long time ago and never finished it and I want to reread it and so we will see right now I'm just gonna try to get through these books and if I have to cut Jane Eyre and Dracula I'll do it and as long as we get through it that is an imaginary friend those are the two that I really care about and they're the two thickest ones um, then I'll be pretty happy. So those are my plans for September and October and I guess I should probably go get to read Atlas 6 so I can read Dune so that I can start all of these books that I have just challenged myself. If you've read any of them let me know and if you plan to read any of these and you want to do a buddy read also comment. I would love to buddy read. Um, I've only I've actually never done a buddy read. I've done a read along that was a long time ago. Um, but I would be really open to it if anybody wants to. So thanks for watching and getting ready for all these fall vibes with me in spooky season. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.